Okay, okay. Actually, I'm liking True Shots' draft. I think they pick up the MF at the end of it. Mm -hmm. As long as they can kind of drag into the late game, I think they have a really good potential. So it's great. It's a split opinion. At least it makes things a little bit more they have, exciting. They have the MF Jarvan combo, right? The, uh, the cataclysm. AOV, yeah, the cataclysm into the bullet time is always going to be a, a big problem for Omumu because when you're when you're considering going all in with the team, like the way Abumu works is like, guys, I'm gonna toss in, I'm gonna out. If you yep. have the MF, you know, on the side and you don't lock her down, she can always counter engage with the bullet time. That's gonna be a big problem, especially because their composition doesn't have any big tanks apart from the Darius. Like, Abumu going in is fine, but like you can't walk in. You don't have the range to walk into bullet time. You can't you disrupt know, the, it. Essentially, the question is, you know, are they gonna try and invade onto the blue buff for Abumu? Uh, right now it looks like they're just going for standard lanes. I don't think they're going for the play onto the Mumu. Yeah, they're just gonna yeah. go chill. They sent Mei to the, the Baron lane here instead. So previously she was rotating around Rose, they put her on support once and twice, and now she they put her in the uh, the Baron lane to just play Garen and chill out. So it looks like uh, it's gonna be an unorthodox start. I say unorthodox, I mean it's pretty standard, but a rip buff start for this Javan the 4th, and of course I'm gonna be on a blue buff. No early invade, so we're a little bit wrong on that. But pretty standard start, and I can see the focus on all the players, right? They really know that this game means a lot to them. Any mid against Ari is not really the best matchup for for any because like she does want to go for the early all ins, but she's always gonna get outranged by the over deception as well as the charm. So unless she flashes and outs, like you need to know the matchup, right? If you flash out and one shot her, then good enough. But if you don't, you're always gonna get poked out. Yeah, I think the first real kind of uh, game-changing play is going to be when Jarvan decides to gank. Mm -hmm. Most likely, it looks like he's going towards the top side of the map. He's going to do one full clear and then kind of decide. But that's where we kind of need to look up. Because Amumu as a ganker, not really strong. But as a counter ganker, that's where he really shines. Yeah, 100%. Like, if you walk in and you match each other, whoever acts first is going to get punished, I think, regardless, mm -hmm. right? And in this lane, NX lives... Darius is a bit more weak than the Garen in terms of like what he can do because if you can get close on him, his decimate actually doesn't do a lot of damage. If you're right next to him, he doesn't do a lot of damage. So yeah, you, you kind of want to hit the outer ring of mm -hmm. the decimate. Oh, but you can see the jungler is kind of meeting into that uh, dragon area. Uh, yep. Not really sure what's happening. Oh, the flag and drag combo did go in. Ice, ice needs to flash out. Oh, exhaust does get put in. The flash fallout from Jairao. They can actually get first blood here. Ignite comes in, but the turnaround! That's huge! He gets it. The Ignite is sticking out, but no, he gets it. He manages to talk it away. It's gonna be a one for zero exchange. But now, looks like Marshall, they want a little bit more. No ultimates available. Looks like that's a clean first blood, and you can see the fights, the skirmishes has already started here. So I don't know if you noticed, but the last minute heal from the misfortune was what allowed the Jarvan mm -hmm. to survive. He flashed away, he almost ticked down to the ignite, but because the heal was used by Frozen Kiss to keep the Jarvan alive, to get first blood, to get out, and a big commitment from the Dragon Lane duo to move over and get the heal in time. Otherwise, you know, that would have been disastrous because it was so close to the mid lane that Annie almost got... Um, all, all of the work done. Yeah. I mean, if Annie was level 5, that tip would have just created I mean, havoc. In Annie that had a double stun. So, like, that's good mm -hmm. enough, right? It's just that they managed to rotate up early enough that the Annie damage didn't matter. That's true. Very, very lucky play coming in. I, you, I could call it luck, but also just great teamwork and synergy. All right, that's true. You know, good, good showing the growth of the team. But here comes the bullet time, Google. It's a little bit low. Crescendo does get popped. Wow, that's an early locket buy by Jairao. Interesting that he went for that. I mean, to get the locket, you need to get at least boots too, right? So mm -hmm. not, not just the brown bags, but upgraded version of boots. So you get a bit more movement speed. And that item in itself is just great for team fighting because remember what we talked about. The mm -hmm. composition when there's an Amumu on the other side, you need to soak up the AoE when Amumu comes in. The best way to fix that immediately is just to get an early locket. And if they like decide to team fight you, you just press locket, soak the damage, and then reset. Oh, I think now Frozen Kiss clearing away the dual lane from the Thailand side will recall buy a little bit of the items with the goal. Oh, maybe Richard both spinning, <laughs> but different kind of spins. May Pitchy going to flash away and going to recall. I think he wants to buy some items here. Both of them spinning to win. All right. <laughs> yeah. Still pretty pretty slow game, right? Except for the first blood. I said, right, it was going to be the battle of the junglers. And when the junglers are not there, they're not going to go for the engages. You can see Ace Gaming here is uh, using that 
trapped spot of the dragon and will be started up right now by Team Marshall, I believe. Best gamers still sitting here looking for the charm will connect or oh. Deception True as well to get some chip damage onto the Ari, but they need to decide if they want to go or back off because this dragon is going to go down very, very quickly to show. All five members are here for Team Marshall. They're going for the team fight already. Oh, it looks like a bullet type on the back line. Massive damage coming in from Frozen Kids. The first blood, or not, excuse me, the first blood, the first ki kill will go the way of the Jin. And now they're still contesting this That's dragon. So they're sticking around. Marshall extremely low on health, having to flash away. Is gaming sitting in the front still? But with the smite, they should be reconnected. Oh, no! Was taken away by the Omumu, and that's gonna be a one for one so far. Oh no, Frozen Kiss! I think she's uh, she's baiting there. She's baiting. She was like, "Yeah, come, come, come." She knew that maybe they would pick the bait. Once again, huge team fight. Only you know, I think Jairal went down. Close encounter, but a win for Team Marshall there. Yeah, they get the single kill and they get the dragon, I believe. So mm -hmm. that's gonna be a big one coming in. Team Marshall picking up that objective gives them the healing. Remember, this is Ocean Dragon, where if you are not in combat, you get passive healing. So that's gonna be good for lanes. Oh, an X life. Uh, no one saw that. Don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit unlucky. But so far, he's doing what he needs to do. Clearing the waves, just getting the EXP. And I think he's waiting for his item so he can just go for that, you know, huge dunk play that we're all mm -hmm. so anonymous together with, your know, this Darius pick. I'm not sure if you saw what he was doing on his screen, but basically on the left and the right of the sword, he was pressing the creep button, right? So mm -hmm. that button, basically what it does is it shifts your focus onto... Neutral neutral monsters, neutral creeps, neutral minions in general. So it allows him to focus down the scuttle crab without misclicking. Yep, and now it looks like they're just gonna back off. Is he gonna fight teleport or not? Maybe a teleport and transfer they can actually go for this fight. Original Matt has been having a very quiet game so far. Six minutes in, no kills, no assists, just that early rotation for the dragon. But now, following Ice Eyes into the repair, we're gonna see a potential team fight because they know Javan is on the bottom side. Well, the problem is, even, even if they spot this out, what can they do? Three members of Team Marshall are already here to respond and take this very quickly, right? And they managed to pop it. They popped the eye on the back. So there's really no response coming in from Team True Shot from Thailand to deal with this. Yep, and now Arjun Mac clearing out the waves, making sure all is good. He's using Annie. You know, he always gets the refund when he just creep. Meanwhile, oh, there could be a big team fight here. DX channels there. Flash does get for Crescendo. Lands onto two to stop the engage completely. That's a really, really good ultimate coming out from the Sona. Yeah, and I'm not sure if the Sona should stick around. They should just concede this. Dragon tier 1 here comes the curtain call. It's being used on Frozen Kiss, but they're moving forward already in the back line. You can see they've trapped oh, up two members inside the Cataclysm. Is getting no should damage. be going down no here. Damage. The hook did not connect. There's no follow-up damage. Gyro did not manage to hit anything there. And now he has to back away. He does have the flash in a second or two. Instead, oh, it will no. be chased down. It's going to be the Sona with the auto attack to get the kill. Miss focus there from the side of Team True Shot. I'm not sure what they were doing to Jarvan and... And Blitzcrank went in for the dive, but uh, no one to follow up with the damage. Whoa, and X Life super aggressive into the apprehend from the flash. And now he wants to go for the damage. He thinks he has enough. There goes the crippling strike. Where's the dong? And there you have it. That's what you call confidence. Even May Pritchie, you know, she smiles about that because she knows she can't do anything about it. Here comes Ice Ice. Bandage talk. Curse of the Saturday. There goes the lockdown. There goes the kill. And now things are going from bad to the worst for Team Thailand. They're trying to back off here. They want to disengage Ice Ice. Where's the bandage charge? He lands to another. He's just going from downtown. He goes for another kill. It goes for the trade. The Rift Harrow is there. They should be able to pick up another turret from this push. Yeah, Team Marshall starting the steam roll already right now. Six kills to... Their name, they're backing off the chase coming in from the Ari. Needs to hit the charm first. Or not find the intended target instead, we'll just back off. True shot now regrouping. They are slightly behind in terms of kills. They're four behind and they don't really have the necessary structures. But you look at the composition, like we talked about, you know, it still centers around hitting Cataclysm and hitting bullet time at the same uh, simultaneously, right? If you can mm. do it simultaneously, that's when you get to, to win an advantage this fight. Right now, it's not really been happening. They've all been desynchronized. They've never been on the same page at the same time. It's been a big problem for Team True Shot. Yep, and you know, 6 and 2 onto the side of Marshall. Yes, it's an advantage, but it's not really a huge advantage, right? There's still a really good chance for them to come back. You can see the teleport being channeled from the Darius. They looks like they want to go for this dragon, the second dragon of the game. Marshall, if they get this uh, mountain here, they get bonus stats in terms of... Uh, Defense, right? They're oh. going to get the pull in. This uh, bullet time oh, completely whiffing. This he is a big problem right now. Look at the back line. The Cataclysm blocking them all up. Marshall, though, they're going to be chasing current down call. here. Comes your current call being channeled, but Ace Gaming is going to cancel that away. 
The Mounted Dragon has been taken away by True Shot while the fight continues under this mid tier one. Maybe she has to be careful. That Don't was look really to back close, off. Yeah. Now, current call gets opened up. Can he find the target? No. One miss, two whiffs, three. Well, that on the bridge crab, but that's not the target that we want. You can see Ice Ice zoning out the back line. I think they know they can't take this fight anymore. Ice Ice, Foster Flash. Ace has the Guardian Angel, will protect his team. Looks like they're just gonna force out the back. Song of Clarity will allow them to go for the chase. Killing spree for this Jin. Ace Gaming coming online in this game already. Uh, the pull in, though, under tier one, Ice Ice should be going down here unless. His team is oh, there no! to back him up. He has to flash away. It's going to be okay. They commit the summoner spell to push him out. And uh, that is going to be the end of that fight at least. Ace oh, Gaming please. still playing on the back line. Very reliable. Stealing the Jin away was actually a pretty smart draft move. Mm -hmm. you could, I mean, you could see right from yesterday all the games. Frozen Kiss just picking up the Jin, And she was really, really proficient on the Jin as well. You could see she's putting the practice. She knows the champion pretty well. But she's truly... Really Pretty a good job on this misfortune as well. You can see highest goal in the team, just waiting for that one crucial team fight now. So far, the bullet times. I, I don't want to be overly critical, but the bullet times have not been in conjunction with her teammates. She casts yeah. it, and then her teammates don't know what to do to follow. I think in this order, oh, hope might be coming in. They yeah, pulled up the Annie in, the charm into the oh. fight as well. But the backline, this is a great bullet like time. It's actually ripping the everyone combo. apart. And now, this is the fight that they were looking for, just as I said it. I might have jinxed it here, Matthew. They jump in, they pick the fight, and the bullet time coming in from Frozen Kids is enough to rip them apart. Three quick kills in the front line. That's what you call Wombo Combo. Everything was set up perfectly. It all started from Jairo's rocket grab. I'm never doubting him again. He stopped out the Eddie, picked him off, made him just decimate every single ability. Still took him down. And the beautiful follow up coming from Jarvan and the Misfortune. Now they are back into the game. 5 9. I mean, there's going to be a small gold disparity. Like, Marshall is still going to be a hit somewhat in terms of gold and items. But that is a good start, right? It's, it's the start of the comeback. It's not the comeback just yet. Yep, base gamer coming together with uh, Frozen Kiss in the mid lane. They know that they're there. Op of Deception will put some good chip damage up to the Sona. It's gonna allow the walking back. But Jairo has been the hidden MVP in my books, right? Look at that. Once again, he's just letting and he got the key target this time. He got the AD carry. Jin beat GA. Does get pulled. Where is the bullet time? Doesn't have the cooldown. There goes the cataclysm. Not there yet. There goes the combo. Oh, curtain call. Does get popped up. There goes. They need to back it off. Jarvan, first of all, this fight flashes comes out. Looks like at the end of the day, Marshall managing to salvage this up, even though Jai Rao was able to find the pickoff of his lifetime. Just not enough follow up coming out from True Shot. And the MVP of that fight was actually the Mumu. Ice Ice cancelled the bullet time with Curse of the Set Mummy, and because of that, there was no damage. Oh! And now they pull in the apprehend. Frozen Kiss is stuck inside. No! Uh, that is not where she wants to be. She's like laughing about it on screen, like, oh no, they got oh! me. They got me good. <laughs> That and was he close. will secure the Baron for her team and Team Marshall now marching down mid lane. Nothing much that Gyro or Vast Gamer can do to dissuade, uh, dissuade this push. The defense isn't really going to stick here unless... Okay, May's coming in. Yep. Should be able yeah, to that, hold off this way for now. But that was so funny there, you know. You could see... At, at NX Live, you could say that, you know, when... Uh, you know, like, hey, Blitzkirk can hook, I can hook too. <laughs> I think she should have walked in. Maybe she was trying to get the ward, but uh, unable to do so. So that's a bit unfortunate. Hold on, I'm just going to recall for a little bit. But I can see the clear advantage going over to Marshall's side. But uh, we saw it once, you know, you know, true shot. They did it once, they can do it again. Oh, come, coming in here. That's going to be a big, big team fight. I'm not really sure what happened. Who went for the engagement? Ice Ice now. Just zoning things out a little bit. They want to back off your base game. It doesn't really have the, the angle to go in. You can see Ice Ice zoning it out. They want to go for the dragon. Oh, Javan did go down in that team fight. Bullet time for Frozen Kids being wasted. Two down coming up from Marshall. They just got a clean, clean sweep. Uh, uh, Daryl? Yeah, they're holding this here right now, sorry. Uh, I was notified by production that we had to adjust our volume just a little bit, so we have to be uh, careful. All so right, all spiking. right. But right now, uh, we're looking at... Mass Gamer pushed up the mid lane. Baron is uh, going to wear off soon, so... It gives them a bit more space when it comes to defending, and they will pick up the Inferno Dragon, and the next one should be the Elder coming in. Yep, now looks like Mass Gamer just got a channel to recall. Try to buy that nicely large frost. Gotta get that item spike. And yeah, this is one thing is clear so far. Frozen Kiss on the MF, not the most comfortable. You know, 
instinctively he still prefers the Jin. Unfortunately, that was a really smart first pick coming up from Marshall there. They're holding this uh, push coming in. They should probably sacrifice the tier one, almost getting hit by the bandage toss there. If you get caught, that's probably the end of the game because you can then flash on you and hit the set this up. But they're waiting for the dragon to spawn. There is no rush right now. Uh, rather, the Baron to spawn because it's another 45 seconds before it, it does come up. And once you collect that, you should be able to close the game out. The original Matt on this alley hasn't been really flashy. You know, not like a, the RE yesterday, but I think he's been doing what he needs to do. Already has the Optivin, has the ROA. Gonna pop out some really good consistent damage, especially with the Rebellion Staff Cap just bought off. So far, they've been doing the right thing when it comes to fights. Just making sure that the misfortune can't safely channel curse of, uh, the bullet time by using curse of the set mummy to pressure her out. Once or twice they misplayed it though. They weren't able to get into range of the misfortune and, and they lost those fights but they just have to bear that in mind. Like keep it ever present. Yep. Now into the barrel has fallen. I think they are just going to keep on pushing on. They want to clear this up as soon as possible. They know that they have the superior team fight capabilities because of the always but oh, true shot. They're not going to give this up for free. They want to go for this fight. Barrel down to 50% health, lingering around. They want to force the engage enough. Crystal is about me. Going to come in here. Can I locking out ice ice? The shadow tagging onto one, and there goes the flash into the camera. He lands onto everybody, and that's the team fight that they're looking for. But actually, you can see true shot trying to turn things around. There goes. The curtain call going to land onto a few targets. A double kill from Ice as all these are They want to keep on chasing. They're going for more. They want to add it here. Bandage draws tags onto the Blitzcrank and gonna finish him off as well. Frozen Kiss, the last surviving member from Chusha. She needs to back the hell out of there and try and survive to keep this game alive. The attention they were split by. Two shot because they were thinking whether they wanted to go for the Baron or whether they want to take the fight and uh, the ones that made the call was Marshall. Marshall made the immediate call to jump the back line. Like two of you guys finished the Baron, the rest of us will jump the back line and you can see that this is the difference when it comes to team synergy. Marshall is just on the same page and doing the same thing whereas mm. True Shot is split and undecided. Yep, you could see right, the, the synergy was the Ice Ice Bandage Hodge across the wall into the Curse of Set Mummy. Original Matt, he flashed across the Baron pit, lands the two man tippers and immediately melts those champions. Very good play coming in from Team Marshall. This uh, explains, you know, a bit more with regards to why we had them picked. And I told you when I looked at the draft and overall, I was like, okay, from a 55, they went up to 60%, right? You could tell that uh, I showed up to play today. Yep, they did indeed. Original Matt using the, I mean, the team player that he needs to be using those uh, warding trinkets, or sorry, warding totems, it's called in this game, to get some extra vision so they know they confidently push on the top side. Waiting to push out the last outer structure on the map. You can see that everyone's grouped up already, uh, barring the one late Darius. We all know that guy. We're supposed to push the lane, he recalls and then he buys. It's like, come on guys, really? It's like, oh, you're slow. You gotta go kill a little bit quicker. But now they have the Baron buff, they have a small chunk of minions and another minion wave to boot. Should be able to get this, no problems whatsoever. Ooh, that's a really aggressive ultimate. The, the Mustang gestures onto Ice Ice, but not doing much. And now, here comes the Bandit Shock. Flash into the Curse of the Mike. on the three targets and a Wombo combo. From the Lickens, pops out the bullet time. Try to neglect something, but couldn't call. Lance misses first, misses the second. There is no shots landing and there goes the exhaust onto the misfortune he's only one man defense or one woman defense i should say they want to try and go to it now the channel is there can the dust slide but there's no for a flag that drags out he needs to save his life on to the nexus here i think this is going to be marshall winning it true they have the minions they have the targets but everyone on marshall is so low frozen kids can you be the hero can you be the savior and yes they can they get the defense out the misfortune coming in clutch Still holding on to the game right now. Frozen Kiss is saying, you know, it's not out yet. Don't discount me out of these fights. <sighs> and you remember that they don't have the massive goal lead and massive snowball lead that Marshall has. So this AD carry actually isn't as fed as you want it to be, you know. They need a bit more items for, for Frozen Kiss to be able to f impact these fights. Because like we said, she's the one that, you know, a lot of the focus is on for right now. And if they can get her fed, if they, she can pop off in these fights, her bullet time has been starting to hurt a lot more. Ooh, this, this elder would be a big, big turnaround. But unfortunately, you can see Ice Ice and Ace. Oh no, tag team! They need to back out here. Even the any original Matt wants him out. Will not go. They want to go for the objective. Remember, this Elder is super strong. Especially, it is a uh, oh, it's a Cloud Elder as well. Gonna get the additional stats coming in. 
Yeah, this is gonna be a big contest here. You can see only two members around for now as everyone groups up. Me is still on the top side. That's a big problem. You need all five members here for Team True Shot. Otherwise, there's no contesting this. But at least to their benefit, the Elder Dragon has, you know, kind of reset a little bit back to full health. Maybe the call has been made here. Yeah, they just uh, sacrificed it. They don't want to fight here. They push up top wave. And they will give the Elder Dragon over to Team Marshall. Yeah, looks like they're just gonna back off here. Elder Cloud Drake into the hands of Team Marshall, and now they have everything they need. They can even go and pick up the Baron buff if they want to, but I think they just want to kind of walk down mid. They know they're strong enough. They have the strong AoE. The only thing they need to kind of dodge is that, you know, Flag and Drag Cataclysm into a Bullet Time combo. All right, now they are um, looking at. Baron. Baron yeah. here. You can see the pings. Actually, they do want to kill Mei Prichy first. Ooh. Banish toss completely whiffing is a big problem. And now, you can see on the back line, Jarvan is going to be backing off. They're going to be fighting in the jungle here. And these narrow corridors are Misfortune's specialty. I'm not sure if they want to stick around for this fight. One of you has shifted to the martial camera right now as Na Baron Nashville has been started up. It's going very low already, down to half health. Oh, Keep your eye on the, the back dodge. line, it's already jumping in. A Mumu on the oh. back line comes to the same army, and uh, Timber is catching multiple members. Bullet time. But there you go, there is the bullet time that's going to be ripping them to shreds. But no, Team Marshall press on, they press on strong, and they will be able to clean up this fight. Flashing away, it's going to be the last member standing. Oh no. They can that move over to the Baron, they can finish this off right now. And Marshall, the call was so good from them. Looks like they are going to try and end this game here. I, I see Landon, no! The minion <laughs> spawn! Hit the video. <laughs> the minion spawn. Same thing. That was the ultimate bro moment there. He's like, don't worry, man. I got you. You know the the, the, the song? <laughs> I'll take <laughs> That was the saving grace coming up uh, for him. But they, they, do, they do at least still get the Baron. They do have this game in control. You know, at least they're still staying alive here. Team True Shot. Yeah, for now, they're still good to go. But, um... You can see that the Choco is getting stronger and stronger, like it's slowly slipping away from them. Frozen Kiss almost won them that fight just now, like in, in the previous uh, Baron engagement, but you can see that the, the Tibbers into the Curse of the Sand Mummy, the damage is just so high, the pressure is, is really intense. Yep, looks like they're gonna back off from this. They're, they're just gonna wait for everyone to regroup. They want to end this game methodically. They do not want to make any mistakes coming in here. Original Matt into this mid lane. Up, just gonna try and clear it out with you, please. Oh, here comes the rocket grab. Try to look and see the teleport being channeled here. It is Darius, but he's getting jumped on by everyone. This is a little bit too quick in the trigger. There was no team, and now he goes down on a team bag. It's just insane. Three man teamers don't even hit bullet time. Doing quite a good amount of damage. Here comes Jin, flashing in, but he gets rocket grabbed into the red range. He does have GA. He needs to be careful, but look at that. The rest of Marshall trying to just push it through. They have the means. They can end this game here. Ace, he needs to be careful. He finally ends it true. But that was a big. Big, big papers coming up from Original Mad GG's called, and that is gonna be Marshall marching in to the semifinals. He's happy, he's confident. Even though he didn't get his RE, they were able to secure the game with the Annie, and that's the combination, right? You look at on both sides of what they were trying to do for both teams. Marshall had Tibbers and Curse of the Set Mummy, whereas.